सरफेस एनर्जी सरफेस एनर्जी सरफेस एनर्जी ऑफ ए लिक्विड ड्रॉप एंड ए सोप बबल लेट अस डिस्कस द टॉपिक द सरफेस एनर्जी ऑफ ए लिक्विड ड्रॉप सरफेस एनर्जी ऑफ ए लिक्विड ड्रॉप इन द डायग्राम वी हैव पॉइंट लिक्विड ड्रॉप ऑफ इनिशियल रेडियस आर इक्वल जीरो एंड इट इज ब्लोन इन टू liquid drop of radius capital r when a liquid drop of radius capital r is formed the surface energy the surface energy stored in the liquid drop will be e equal s dot to delta a product of surface tension and change in area where delta a where delta a is the change in area change in area assuming Where delta A is the change in area, assuming that the radius of the soap bubble, uh, the radius of liquid drop, increases from initial radius increases from initial radius R equal zero to capital R equal capital R. Equal S into therefore. E, uh, delta a change in area is equal to 4 pi r square minus 4 pi small r square delta a equal 4 pi r square minus small 4 pi small r square that is the change in area when a, a point liquid drop is blown into a liquid drop of radius capital r therefore e equal s dot 4 pi r square minus r square e equal s dot 4 pi r square minus 0 since initial radius r was 0 small r is equal to 0 this is the point radius in the diagram having initial radius r equal 0 now it is blown into a liquid drop of radius capital r this is the radius capital r is the radius of uh, the liquid drop therefore a equal s dot 4 pi r square e equal s dot 4 pi r square this is the surface energy this is the surface energy this is the surface energy of a liquid drop of radius capital r liquid drop of radius capital r where s is the surface tension of the liquid surface tension of the liquid Now we have to find the expression of surface energy of a soap bubble. Surface energy of a soap bubble. In the diagram, first we should consider a point soap bubble of radius small r. This is the point soap bubble of initial radius small r equals 0. Initial radius of the point soap bubble is 0 that is r equals 0 and this is the point soap bubble now it is blown into a large soap bubble of radius capital r blown into a soap bubble of radius capital r this is the soap bubble that means the point soap bubble is blown into a soap bubble of radius capital r In this case, when a soap bubble of radius capital R is formed from a point soap bubble of radius small r, that means when we have to find the surface energy of soap bubble of radius capital R, that we have to assume that it is blown from a point soap bubble and surface energy equal s dot 2 delta A, product of surface tension and change in area, s dot 2 delta A, where delta A is the actual change in area of soap bubble but as the soap bubble has two free surfaces two free surfaces it should be surfaces not surface 2 delta a will be the effective 
changing area of the two free surfaces of the soap bubble. In the diagram, there are two free surfaces. This is the soap bubble, which has radius capital R, and uh, here is the surrounding medium of soap bubble, and uh, there is air between the two free surfaces. Two free surfaces encloses air. This is air. This is air between two free surfaces and also inside we have uh, air as uh, a medium. This is the first free surface of soap bubble and this is the second free surface of the soap bubble. If uh, this is the second free surface of the soap bubble. That's why you have to consider 2 into delta A because if uh, area changes then there should be change in area of the two free surfaces therefore E equal S dot 2 delta A equal S dot 2 bracket open 4 pi r square minus 4 pi small r square and we can assume that this soap bubble is blown from a point soap bubble of radius r equal 0 this is the point so bubble, point so bubble having initial radius 0 and it is blown into this type of so bubble of radius capital R s dot 8 pi bracket open r square minus small r square s dot 8 pi into r square minus 0. For point so bubble initial radius was 0 that is small r was equal 0. Therefore, therefore e equal s dot 8 pi r square e equal 8 pi r square dot s or s dot 8 pi r square. This is the surface energy. This is the surface energy of a soap bubble of radius capital R. When a soap bubble of capital of radius capital R is formed, that means you have to assume that it is blown from a point soap bubble to so bubble of radius capital R. Now we can write E equal S dot 4 pi R square and E equal S dot 8 pi R square. Now E equal S dot 4 pi R square is the surface energy of a liquid drop whereas E equal S dot 8 pi R square is the surface energy of a soap bubble. Surface energy of a soap bubble.